Thank you, Roxine, Prime Minister, all the distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Today is a happy day for the Ministry of Legal and Constitutional Affairs. We have been telling you about the work to be done in formally constituting the Constitutional Reform Committee to provide expert guidance and oversight in the constitutional reform work being undertaken in the government of Jamaica. This morning, we met for the first time, and I can say that it was a fruitful meeting. I, I don't usually take the liberty of speaking on behalf of everyone, but we emerged from the session um, all thinking that we're off to an encouraging start. It gives me great pleasure to invite the Prime Minister to announce the members of the committee. Thank you, Minister Fort. Again, let me uh, express my public commendations to you and the team from the Ministry of Legal and Constitutional Affairs in pulling together the institutional framework necessary for Jamaica to finally, after many decades of discussion, make a determination of the nature of our sovereignty, meaning that we will change our constitutional arrangements from that of a constitutional monarchy to one where the sovereign will resides in the people in the form of a republic. Uh, this is a monumental achievement. Uh, once in a generation, once in a lifetime. We don't take it lightly. I want to be clear that this is not a political endeavor. Uh, maybe I should use different terms. This is not a partisan endeavor. It is uh, inherently political expression, but it is not partisan. Uh, and I want to give the public the assurance that what, whatever we do, we will be acting in the best interest of the people of Jamaica. Uh, we had the Vale Royal talks a few weeks ago, and I found it to be quite useful in uh, bringing clarity and addressing concerns that have been raised. Uh, as a government, though we were uh, determined to move the process along expeditiously, we recognize that it would not be as meaningful as it should be if we did not have the opposition on board. So that truly this is then not a partisan endeavor. And so we, we waited, we took the opportunity, uh, and myself and the leader of the opposition, we had frank discussions and we were able to find a pathway forward to the naming of uh, members of the opposition to this very important commission. So I, I believe we are one step closer. It therefore gives me great pleasure to announce the committee, the Constitutional Reform Committee. The job of the Reform Committee is to obviously uh, review the work that has already been taken place uh, in this regard, to pull from that body of work what is relevant to today's circumstances, to give advice, and to guide the overall process. Uh, as I said earlier uh, in the meeting before this one, uh, there may be the view that it is a straightforward and simple task of just changing the name of the country from that of a constitutional monarch to a republic. Uh, that is not the case. Uh, there are many legal steps that we have to go through, and uh, there is the matter of a referendum. The outcome of which 
no one can predict. Uh, and so the steps leading up to that, uh, the explanation and narrative to the people, how the public is engaged, uh, and in particular in this environment and atmosphere where there are so many other issues pulling on the attention of the public. Uh, there are just uh, so many risks that are involved. But nevertheless, uh, the government is moving ahead with it. And we feel that we have the institutional and human capacity to address those risks sufficiently to get to the outcome which we all want, Jamaica as a republic. We can't take on the entirety of the problem. We are focusing on one element of it, which is the redefinition of the, the sovereignty of Jamaica to be that of a republic. There are other matters which, uh, as we go along and we develop the institutional strength and capacity, uh, we will take those on uh, in the future. But for today, it is indeed my great privilege to announce the establishment of the Constitutional Reform Committee to be chaired by the Honorable Marlene Malahu Fort, uh, KCJP MP, Minister of Legal and Constitutional Affairs. Please take your acknowledgement, Minister. <laughs> Uh, Ambassador Rocky Mead, CD, will act as co-chair, uh, and uh, Ambassador Mead works out of the office of the Prime Minister. Dr. Derek McCoy, CD, JP, KC, Attorney General of Jamaica. Senator the Honorable Tom Tavares Finson, OJ, CD, KC. I have to do it formally. President of the Senate and the Commissioner of the Electoral Commission of Jamaica. Uh, Tom, the entire country knows you, but for those who don't, please stand and be acknowledged. Is that on the screen too? And, oh, and your picture is on the screen. Very good. <laughs> Senator Ransford Braham, CD, KC, uh, Government Senator. Uh, um, uh, Senator Braham apologized. Senator Donna Scott Motley, Parliamentary Opposition, Member of the Senate. Mr. Anthony Hilton, MP, Parliamentary Opposition, House of Representatives. Uh, we, we have uh, an international constitutional law expert who is on the committee, uh, Professor Richard Albert. Dr. The Honorable Lloyd Barnett, OJ, National Constitutional Expert. Oh, um, again, uh, apologies for uh, Dr. Barnett. Mr. Hugh Small, KC, uh, Consultant Counsel and uh, nominee of the Leader of the Opposition. Dr. David Henry, uh, representing the wider faith based. Uh, society. Dr. Nadine Spence, representing civil society, social and political uh, commentator in her own right. Mrs. Lalita Davis Mattis uh, from the National Reparations Committee. And Mr. Sujay Boswell, youth advisor. Uh, the Mr. Christopher Harper will be the committee liaison officer. And that is, ladies and gentlemen, the Constitutional Reform Committee. Uh, their job is significant, uh, and uh, I thank all of them for giving of their time and effort, knowledge and guidance to the process. I am confident that we will be able to meet the ambitious timelines that have been set and that we will make one step further in redefining who we are as a country and as a sovereign people. I thank you.
Thank you so much, Prime Minister. And we will now have a short Q&A, and we will only be accommodating questions in respect to the Constitutional Reform Committee. So if there's anyone among us who has a question, we have a mic, you can direct your questions. Do we have any questions? There's a mic, Nastasia, the young lady to the back. And tell us who you are and who is you are directing the question to. Thank you so much. Alicia Williams here from Television Jamaica. I'm a news reporter. I know it's early days um, yet, but in regards to what's next, now that the, the committee, the members have been named, what's next? Minister. Thank you for your question, Glacio. The work has commenced in earnest. We settled the terms of reference for the committee this morning with an extremely ambitious timeline. I'm grateful that all committee members have committed to working to achieving the goals along the way. I'll tell you this, the next formal meeting of the committee will be next Wednesday in this location. I commit to keeping the nation abreast, um, not only through media engagement, but also with statements in the parliament. So do stay tuned. But for not, not for a moment should you underestimate what we are announcing today. After some delay, we're finally here. And the work has commenced formally. Are there any other questions? Yes, we have a question over here. She's coming with the mic. All right, this question is directed to Ambassador Mead. What's the timeline for the transition for Jamaica to become a republic? <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, I think the minister gave an indication that we have a very ambitious timeline, and the Prime Minister said it as well. Um, remember, the Prime Minister also indicated that when we take the matter to referendum, we can't predict the outcome. So we are setting an ambitious timeline for the work that will get us to the point of putting the matter to the people, and then when the people decide, we'll know exactly what the actual timeline for a transition is. But we are certainly hoping to get some initial um, uh, decisions taken in terms of crafting matters within the next couple of months, and then the process will follow thereafter. Anyone else with any other questions? Awesome, that means everybody is happy with what happened today. So. We will conclude by thanking everyone this afternoon who joined us here in person and those who are online. The Constitutional Reform Committee is formed and the work begins on Jamaica's transition from a constitutional monarchy to a republic. On behalf of the most honorable Andrew Holness, Prime Minister, Honorable Marlene Malahu Fort, Minister of Legal and Constitutional Affairs, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry, Wayne Robertson. Special thanks to the Ministry's Director of Corporate Communications and Public Relations, Nastasia McFarlane, and the entire team of the Ministry of Legal and Constitutional Affairs. I'm Roxy Nickel, wishing you all a wonderful rest of the afternoon. Thank you so much.